Nice to see all of you. It is a pleasure to have you here. We're going to talk about leadership skills for the 80s. One of the greatest experiences any of us can have is the experience of influence. To persuade somebody that we've got a good idea, to persuade somebody to buy a product or consider a service, to be able to influence somebody to a way of life, a product, an idea, a company, a corporation, an enterprise. Influence is one of the greatest of life's experiences. And I would like to talk about that in this series of lectures. The chance to influence somebody else, their thinking, their future, maybe their lives, is a great experience. And all the way from being a manager to an executive to being a parent, we all have in some respects the chance and the opportunity to influence somebody else. Now the key is to develop the skills to do it. There's one thing in doing it casually, another thing in doing it haphazardly, and the other is to do it on purpose by learning the skills. And that's what I'd like to cover in this series of lectures. Gathering the skills to help influence people to a way of thinking, to a product, to an idea, to an enterprise, or just to a better life. The skills of leadership. First of all, just in preliminary, let me just give you a list of what I hope you'll find in my series of lectures this time. Here's the list. Number one, sincerity. To accomplish something, especially in lecturing and listening, we have to start with sincerity. And I would assume you're sincere or you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have made this effort and pushed past whatever you had to push past to get here. And I can appreciate that. So we first of all start with sincerity, and hopefully you'll find me sincere. I really have come by to bring value for your time and effort and consideration. But I've got a good note for you to make. Sincerity is not a test of truth. Sincerity is not a test of truth. We must not make the mistake of saying he must be right, he's so sincere. And the reason is, it's possible to be sincerely wrong. So we must not mistake sincerity for truth. Because it is possible to be sincerely wrong. But hopefully you'll find me both sincere and truthful. Because I wish to speak for you the truth. But you have to decide for yourself what is truth. But here's the key. Weigh sincerity on sincerity scales and weigh truth on truth scales. We don't weigh truth on sincerity scales. Next, I hope you'll find in our series two major things. Ideas plus inspiration. If you want your life to change, here's the source of it all. Ideas plus inspiration. Now, ideas are not that far away. In fact, I've got a good phrase for you to consider. This will serve you well for the rest of your life. Everything you need is within reach. Everything you need is within reach. The ideas you need for life change or business change is within reading reach. It's within listening reach. There's probably a library not too far from you. The problem is, right, there's a library there, but most people drive by. Very few drive in. <laughs> Poor Andrew Carnegie, right, set up all these libraries across the country thinking everybody would stop by. Say, no, everybody's going to drive by. He thought, sure, they were going to stop in. Do you know how many people own a library card in the United States? Three percent. And guess how much they cost? Nothing. Wow. But see, it's within reach. Now, the key is, who's going to reach? There's a simple Bible phrase, and I'm an amateur on the Bible, but here's what it says. If you search, you will find. But it's very important to know that finding is reserved for the searchers. We don't find what we need, we find what we search for. Needing is not the prerequisite to getting value. You can't be a needer, you have to be a searcher. But if you'll search, if you'll try... If you'll go, if you'll listen, ideas are within reach. And ideas are life-changing. There's nothing so powerful as an idea whose time has come. A business idea, a social idea, an investment idea, a good health idea. All you need is just the refinement of an idea to make an impact on your life. Gather treasure, gather equity, gather wealth. Because it doesn't take much to make a significant difference as the time passes. 